uh, Kamal, he's just very explosive. Wants to get in all situations, and he's quite good there. And where to be, to buy love, he just um, he's the most safe guy, um, taking the pace out of the the fight and just doing enough to win his matches. Yeah, he's well, one of those guys, and I'm sure you've wrestled many like him. That he's so good at what he does and controls the pace, slows it down a little bit, that it's frustrating as a competitor. Exactly, and maybe especially for Kamal right now, because he wants to make a lot of points. Kamal, you see how he steers his neck and head, active, maneuvering his upper body. Keeps those arms about as tight as anybody at all times. Whoop. Now an offensive opportunity driving back. Kamal able to regain his balance as he stumbled a little bit. Good recovery by Karim Kamal. Yeah, Tabalov, he was all the way in. Actually, he could have made a lot of fun right there, but Kamal just great defense right there. But that was Kamal. That's his thing. He's just that good in all situations. Passivity point goes to Kamal in a 1-0 lead. Karim Kamal has medaled in four straight Europeans, trying to make it five in a row tonight with a win. He'll do it. A gold, a couple of silvers, and a bronze medal during that stretch for Kamal. Only 23 years old. Yeah, he's always exciting and always uh, on top of the podium. Into a lift. And a good job underneath by Tibalov. Talked about the aerial defense, what you're taught to do, and why Tibalov was able to avoid the throw. Yeah, exactly. We saw the scenario yesterday with uh, Oliver Kruger, where he also had his feet on the mat all the way around. Even if it's, it's uh, explosive from uh, Kamal's side, when you have the feet on the mat, there is no point. Kamal trying to keep Tibalov cornered around the uh, protection area. That's the orange outside circle, but Tibalov in a game of dance, cat and mouse, able to reposition and get his back back into the center. And now he's driving at Kamal, gives a tug, tried to drag him in, tries one more time, working off that arm control. 45 seconds to go in this opening period. Yeah, he's really strong in that the Russian tie. But this was the best scenario for Tobilov, actually. Absolutely. Because Kamal, he's very dangerous on top of you in the Pater position. So this was uh, yeah, very good for Tobilov. A good start from him. This is what he has done the last couple of days. Low scoring, like we talked about. Nothing flashy or fancy, just really, really solid. Yeah. And you can see they are going down with the chest, like, ah, now a little bit up, upright, but they are going down with the chest almost 90 degrees. And then it's just hard to get into those situations where Kamal, he is such a good wrestler. First period is going to come to an end, and it will be a 1 nothing lead, the passivity point for Kamal, but a missed opportunity from Parterre. So he will come over, get little hydration in him, a rub down, and ready to battle this young Serb who is making quite an impression at these European Championships in his debut. Yeah. Yeah, he's just taking the pace out of the, of the fight, and Kamal doesn't like that. Every time he's holding uh, Kamal, he gets a... Uh, a wrist control and thing, he just hold it very tight and control the match from there. Okay. You can bet Kamal's gonna come out on fire here, I would think, to start this second period. But it is Tibalov who jumps immediately on the head. Maybe Kamal is trying to save some of his uh, power. Oh. Now he's driving Tibalov. Tibalov. Has the arms locked, tries to thrust him over. And two from the referee, I believe they got confirmed for Kamal, and he's up 3-0. Yeah, yeah, that's what he needed to do right now. Take a little bit of a chance, give the Tabailov just the opportunity, and then stop him. 
but he, he's just yeah, in those situations. You can't throw him, then you really need to throw him really good. Blood timeout on that last exchange for Karim Kamal, so they will go to work on him to try to clean him up a little bit. Tokyo Olympian. Even before he reached the senior level, he had won five European gold medals at age groups. Before he went on this recent run that we talked about, four consecutive medals at these senior championships. Yeah, Kamal, he's uh, one of the guys who transitioned into the senior level very quick. And he has been staying there with all his medals. Look to, to Bailov how he just, uh, when he has his hands, when he has Kamal's hands, he don't let go again. This could be a special year for Turkey A if they can win some medals tonight. If they win four medals, they are going to set a new high for most oh. medals won by the country. Has Tibilov again for the second time in this match. Has Kamal on the ropes, but Karim Kamal does not panic and avoids giving up the points. Yeah, that was a close one. But Tobilov, he just have to go and do his thing right now. Or maybe get him down in the patel position. And oh. he's on the board for the first time. Tibilov gets the step out, and it's three to one. Do you sense a parterre opportunity coming for him? Has he yeah. done enough? If he's doing enough right now after the whistle, maybe he will get it. But now we see a bleeding time again. Then both of the whistlers can catch their breath. Senior European debut for Georgi Tibilov, and he's trying to take down last year's European champion. Trying for an opportunity to get parterre. You can see the Serbian corner going nuts. They want it. Judge signals the red. Tibilov working off this two on one to let this action continue. Wow. And now the passivity point and the opportunity that Tibilov's been waiting for. Now he only needs one point. What a close match right now. 64 seconds. Tibilov into position. Action blue. Trying to work his way up to the feet. Oh, yeah. Two punt throw from him. And he grabs the lead. And Kamal stayed down. And that should be an additional two as well for Tibilov. I'm not sure if Kamal is injured or what, but he stayed down on the mat. Yeah, he did. And then Tibilov, he was going up, but then I kept going at him. I got the two. Punts. Now that second exchange, they have white paddled it, so they're only going with the initial two. I actually think I heard a whistle before oh, he got the was? two punch. Yeah. Right back to it, and something is going on right now with Karim Kamal. Another two for Tibilov. Concern from the Turkey A corner. And look at Georgi Tibilov, he's feeling it. Exactly. When you feel your opponent is tired, you just get more energy. Now he's half a minute away from his bronze medal. No movement whatsoever by Kamal. Just stationary there, and you can see Tibilov being very cautious with it. Yeah, exactly. He knows it's dangerous at the zones, and Kamal, he's still good in those situations. Tibilov is just going to work on that arm, and again, Kamal goes flopping out of bounds. And he's just absolutely exhausted, it looks like, Frederick. No, no, no. Oh. 
10 seconds. This is really a bizarre finish. Yeah, yeah. We're not used to see Kamal this way. What a performance from Georgi Tibalov. His first European medal, and it's a bronze. A strong second period as he wore down Karim Kamal in a Serbian bronze here at 60 kilos. If this was his game plan, he executed it very, very well. Wow, what a performance. Well deserved.